for video 3, or video 4, or whatever video we're on, you finally edited your pawn, you finally edited your class, but all you have are these puny, pathetic fucking goblins. Nobody wants to fight these things, right? They're trash. I want to fight some real shit. Well, how do you do that? There's two ways to do it. There's one way, which is complete hell, which probably nobody's going to do. And that is to edit the CSV manually by hand. I'm not even going to fucking show it, actually. So back in the Dragon's Dogma Worm Hunt Discord, once again, ignore this block guy. It's not important. We have a tool made by Lathe that allows you to edit the spawns. I already have that tool downloaded. So I'm not going to show you the installation process, but I will open the page and show you that with the power of reading, there are instructions. Site can't be reached! My internet! Anyway, once your internet starts fucking working, there is a separate GitHub for Lace Tool. As I said, there are instructions down here. I didn't read this properly and did it wrong. Reading check failed, but his instructions do make it work. So just follow them. I, like I said, have it downloaded. I have it here. You'll run the CMD. Clutter your screen even more. Run this. After you open it up, you'll have a set list of spawns. These are the spawns I made. We'll use the one given by the file. Like I said earlier, when you start the server, it'll change the path of the CSV into the bin section. So you'll simply go to source, Dragon's Dogma Online, CLI, bin, debug, net, files, assets, and you'll want to open this enemy CSV. This tracks your player location in game. So here I am in game, beautiful as ever. And here's the tool. From here, you can immediately just, if you wanted, make the Cyclops level 120. You probably won't kill it, but you can do it. If you want BGM and a boss cage, you'll set the boss cage to on. Let's change it to 100. Let's change it to 60. Let's be more realistic. And once you make your change, just hit save on that file and save here. Additionally, if you wanted, you can add more ads or anything you wanted really and the spawn limit is around 20 enemies or so so feel free to go wild like I said you'll save it for spawns to refresh in game you do have to teleport back to the white dragon temple or enter into an inn but I would just travel to white dragon temple for just like a cautionary thing I suppose <clears throat> And now that it's saved, it will load, and it tells you it loads here, well, somewhere along here, and we'll go to where that Cyclops is located, tell, Now we spawn at the tell and open up our mini map to see our enemies spawning in. Hopefully, once we get in range. So here they are. Each white dot is a single enemy. We'll use our almighty blink slash to obliterate these fucking goblins. But yeah, there you go. Ever since this tool was made, it is the easiest way to change enemies. So just use that. It works for all the areas in the game. Just click on this drop down, zoom out a little, and simply drag and drop enemies in whatever location you'd wish. Even season two. All right, best of luck, have fun.